epiro is available in two editions one is in the cloud that is you can just go to epiro.io and then you can do the analysis or you can also do the analysis in the on prem edition see friends epdem file tends to contain sensitive information such as social security numbers credit card numbers pat numbers so it's ideal to do the analysis on your local machine so you can download the on prem installation and then you can set it up on your local machine and then you can do the analysis instantly okay so in this video let's just see how to do the heap dump analysis through the cloud to do the heap dump analysis first you need to have a heap dump right so how you can generate heap dump you can generate heap dump through the tools like a jcmd or a jmap so the link is given on how to do the heap how to capture the heap dump okay so once you have the heap dump now you can upload it here depending on your of eptem file size it may take a few minutes to several minutes which is pretty common okay once the eptem is uploaded and passed the tool uses several ml algorithms to detect whether there is any memory leak is happening in the application see in this report it says it has detected a memory leak and uh, it says this object com buggy app memory leak uh, thread map manager is occupying like a 99.96 percentage of memory right to see the details asking you to click here so you can click here and see the details also what you may want to do it is you want to always scroll to the largest objects section in this report right always whenever there is a memory leak it is caused by top 2 3 objects in memory so here in this case example here you can see there is this object map manager this this particular object alone is occupying 99.96 percentage of memory so that means this is the object which is causing the memory leak in the memory so oh. now what we need to do is we need to investigate what are all the children what are all the contents of this map manager to do that click on this more and then see list of outgoing references outgoing reference means what are the references going outside from this map manager so that we can see what are the children of this map manager so when i click here this map manager is here you can see this map manager has these many children you can see it has these many children and now here look at it so this guy is 490.73 megabyte this child is almost the same size so this means that this is the biggest child element so let's drill down this guy okay you can see this is a hash map and it's a variable my map so i'm drilling it down uh, as you know hash map contains table right so let me drill it down okay you can see this hash map right that's like 1 million and 81000 records so here is only displaying the top 10 records but if you want to see more records you can just say click on load more now you're going to see all the records here okay now i see all these records are here let's i want to see what are the contents what is the actual raw data of this record so if, to that i just click here when i click here on the right side the actual raw data gets loaded here you can see the the node as a key you can see this is the actual raw data key 65363 is the actual raw data and here is a value which is present in this hash map right okay from this we learned how to find what are the children of this object now the next step is i want to know what is it keeping this map manager active in memory which is preventing it from getting garbage collected to do that we need to see who are the references who are the parents of this map manager to that to do that click on this more and now what you want to do is click on the incoming references to see what who are all referring to this map manager let me click here okay i can see this map manager is referenced by this map manager and as well as by another object here So now let's drill down this map manager. You can see this map manager is referenced by another object called as object two. So now if I drill it down, I can see this object two is referenced by object one and then by a thread. So by walking this tree, I can see who are all the references of this map manager. So now I will know who is keeping these objects active. Okay, so friends, now I found who is the leaking object. I found who are the children of it. to see what are actual contents building up in that object and i also found the references the parents who are keeping them active equipped with this information we can address we can exactly pinpoint the root cause of memory leak friends this is a table view of the objects in memory similarly there is also a chart view also available where you can visualize the objects in memory in a graphical format 
Okay, here I can come. Okay, I can see these are all the objects. I can just click to see what are the child objects. So if I click here, I can see actual walk object which is present. I can keep drilling down and see the objects. And if I want to go back, I can click here back. And if I want to go back to the root, I can just click here to the home. Okay, friends. Thank you everyone for watching this video.